Good morning, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I use my fitness pal. Now, what I'm going to do is a screen share so you can see. All you need to do is go to myfitnesspal.com, set up your account. You want to choose the free account. Make sure you don't get confused and think that you have to pay for it because you do not. It is totally 100% free. So set up your account and then I'm going to take it from there. I'm going to walk you through how to set up your goals, how I have my nutrition set up, my calories, my protein, fat, fiber, the whole breakdown. I'm going to show you all that and what I'm doing and how I track it. And then I'm also going to show you how you can put enter your food. You're also able to scan just like you can on Weight Watchers. You can use the barcode scanner. They have one as well. Also, another question that people ask all the time is, can you use your PC or do you have to use your cell phone? You can use either exactly like Weight Watchers, which is the other thing that I love because I like to see everything on a big screen. So we're going to go through all of that today, just the basics to get you started. And then if you want, you know, a little more info, like how to do a recipe, set up a recipe, then I can jump into that as well in a future video. But let's get started on exactly how to track in my fitness pal. Okay, are you all logged in? Let's go ahead and start. So here is my screen. I'm getting this as clear as I possibly can, so I hope you can see it. Go to myfitnesspal.com, then you're going to go to your home. You can also download the app, and you should, because then you have the barcode scanner. All right, there's me. You see that I had a kind of a not great eating day yesterday. I went over by 207 calories, and I was just showing you there. You can add your exercise in that section if you want. There's, I'll show you the other spots you can as well, but let's go to goals. Okay, this is where you're going to set up your calories, your carbohydrates, your fat, and your protein. Now you see there, I am on 25% carbs, 35 fat, and 40% protein. These other sections down here below with the locks, that's because I don't have the paid version, so yours will probably locked, be locked as well. Now let's say that's not exactly how we want it to look. We want to change our calories or the breakdown here. You hit the edit button and then you can just change it to whatever you want. If you want your carbs to be higher, if you want your carbs to be lower, if you want to increase your protein, you just have to make sure that it totals 100%. So just play around with it. Make sure that it's the numbers that you want. Then up here at the top, you have a check-in tab. That is where you do your weekly weigh-in or however often you're going to weigh. You can set up a profile with your picture and your information. You can add friends. You can also give your friends permission to see your food log, which is really cool because then you can all sort of do that together. All right, up at the top, let's go to food. This is the important part. So this was Wednesday, June 22nd, and you can see here, that's a complete day for me. You see everything tracked with all of the totals broken down by food, by category, by breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Of course, snacks is going to cover desserts as well. And now you see down at the bottom, daily goal. My calorie goal was 1,300, but I had 1,507. So it will tally there and show me in red that I went over. I also went over in my carbs. I went over in my fat. Yeah, I could have had a better day. Even my sugar. I love that it allows you to track your sugar because so many of us watch the sugar. All right, let's go to Thursday. That's a blank day. And I'm going to show you exactly what you do. So let's go to add food. And what you see here are things that I have recently eaten. Deviled eggs, black coffee. So that's the recent tab. It shows you the quantity, the serving. Then let's move to frequent. That just means those are things that I eat pretty often under the breakfast category. My foods would be something I added in. Meals would be something I added in. And, you know, hand manually added. And then recipes would be my recipe. Okay, so let's say I had three eggs and black coffee, but oh, 
wait a minute. No, I didn't. I only had one egg. All you do is change it. You saw where I changed it under category. And let's say I had some strawberries. See, you can do it down to the amount of berries. How cool is that? You can change it to say, okay, I ate 10 berries. Then you hit add checked and boom. It tallies everything for you. All your macros, your carbs, fat, protein, fiber, sugar, and your calories. And then down here at the bottom, it starts, you know, sort of tallying and removing for you, which I love. You can watch your progress throughout the day. Okay, we're going to lunch. Let's put in a WW favorite, Chick-fil-A sandwich. And before you ask, I'm going to answer and let you know that yes, 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 you automatically, under the free plan, you get all the restaurant food as well. So let's go ahead and pick a sandwich. Let's see. All right, let's say I had the spicy sandwich today for lunch. 490 calories. Oh my goodness. But let's just say I didn't stop there because I was extra hungry. And I also had some Chick-fil-A waffle fries. I'm not setting up a good day here, am I? Okay, then you can put the size. So I decided that I was going to get a medium. But then at the end of the day, I did not eat the whole box. So just change that to 0.5 because I ate half the box. And then you see here that it changes it for you. It says, oh, okay, well, you had 180 calories. And it changes all the macros as well. Now let's move on to dinner. And let's see. I'm going to look for something I have often. Okay, here we go. I'm going to mark my chicken burger. Now, the chicken burger is there because it's under my recipes. So all you do is go to your recipe tab and see now I click that twice. So if you do that, all you do is go over and remove the one you didn't want. So really, really simple. This is so easy. I can't stress that enough. All right, let's say that I'm also going to have some other things with it. I'm going to have some carbonata pasta, one cup. You see the serving there. I'm also going to have my Martin's potato roll that I talk about all the time. And let's change this. I had one cup of green beans. So we're going to add that in. And there we go. 470 calories. Plus it shows the entire macro breakdown. Now I'm over carbs again. See how easy it is to get over carbs? So that's why, you know, just pay attention for me because I keep going over carbs, and this is not a typical day for me, obviously, but that's why this is so important to do this. If you're on WW, it is just such an education, even if you only do it for a week. All right, Halo Vanilla Ice Cream. I'm hungry at the end of the day, and I'm going to have a lot of that. Let's see. Let me find one here. All right, we're going to go with this one. Half cup is a serving size, but I decided to have a full cup. So we're going to add that in. And you know, the, the goal here is honest tracking. It shows you what we are not seeing. If you're on a WW plan or if you're not tracking at all, you're not seeing this. And it's so important in learning what you're eating. Now, I'm going to make a point here. I, I want to show you something that happens as you continue eating, which I find to be so helpful what they do. So let's say I continue to eat. I typed brownie in up there. I'm just looking for something that is high calorie because I want to show you how my fitness pal tracks things for you. So let's say we had two servings of a brownie. And again, it adds it in. See, our day is just getting worse and worse. <laughs> but we realize we forgot to add our water. So we add in eight cups of water. And then this is another thing I love. So you can make a little notes here. So what I like to do is note how many WW points I had. Obviously, it wasn't 27. It was far more than that. But I'm putting little notes here for myself. But that's where sometimes I'll track breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
in that edit note section of my WW points so I have it all in one place. And I find that to be enormously helpful when you're double tracking. All right, let me show you exercise. Let's say we tried to redeem ourselves. It was eight o'clock at night and we said, oh, I'm going to get up and do a little walking because I know I went nuts today. So here's walking. That's a typical, you can put anything in, by the way, under the search category. You could put any exercise you did. But let's say I did an hour of walking and then I also rode my bike for 30 minutes. So you see there, it's giving me back 280 calories because it's saying, okay, we're going to give you credit for that exercise that you did. Now let's go back over to our food tab again. And let me show you what happens there. See what happened? It brought my calories down because it gave me all of those calories back. It gave me the macronutrients back. My carbs look better. It improves everything for you. And then look at this. It says, if I ate like that and exercise like that, I'll weigh 153 pounds in five weeks. As soon as you hit complete entry, it does that for you, which I love. By the way, for those of you who are curious, I weigh 148 pounds. 0.4 pounds right now. So that just shows you if I ate like that and exercised like that, I'm going to gain weight in five weeks. But it's, it's going to take me five weeks to gain what? About five pounds. How informative and helpful is that to know those things? I was just showing you the recipe tab there a second ago. So this is another thing that, by the way, if you want a tutorial on how to build out a recipe, let me know in comments, please, please, so that I see it. And if so, I'll do a dedicated video on how to build out a recipe. It's super easy. All right, I typed in chocolate cake because I want to make a point to you here. So the same way when you keep eating, the same thing happens when you have a good day. It'll show you what your loss is should look like. But see, let's say I had a big chunk of cake that I said, okay, it's probably four pieces of a normal person. You know what I mean? You can have a small piece or you can have a big piece. So we had a cake boss piece and it went ahead and changed everything again. Look at that. In five weeks, I'm going to weigh 165 pounds because it's telling me, hey, listen, you think that this isn't hurting you? I've got news for you, sister. It is. So I love that it gives me that immediate feedback. Now, let's start removing things. And I know this is kind of repetitive, but for those of you who, you know, I want you to see it and I want you to see me doing it repetitively because then it kind of shows you how to do it. All I'm doing here is I'm hitting minus signs for everything. I'm removing food. Goodbye, Cake Boss Cake. I'm going to show you what it will do as you eat better. So we're just taking away some of the things that were, you know, crazy. And look at that. So see now, but I'm going to take one more thing away. I am now below 1,000 calories. And look what it's going to do. You're going to love this. 897 calories is what I ate on that day. I'm way in surplus. And look what it says. Based on your total calories consumed for the day, you are likely not eating enough. So it goes on to say for safe weight loss, National Institute of Health recommends no less than 1,000 to 1,200 calories. So it won't give you a goal weight, or not goal weight, but it won't give you a in five weeks because it's saying to you, hey, you're not eating enough. Don't do it that way. It's not sustainable and it's not healthy. So let's say at the end of the day, we're like, oh, we're not eating in the healthy range. Let's add in a yogurt pie, which is what I just added. Now we're over a thousand calories and see what it told me? 148.5. So it's telling me I'm gonna maintain my weight if I eat like that every day. Now remember, these are just sample made up days. We don't actually eat like this, 
But if that was helpful for you, please let me know in comments and I will dig a little bit deeper into the MyFitnessPal app. I thoroughly enjoy it. And again, let me know if you want to know how to build out a recipe. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to share this video if you enjoyed it. And otherwise, I will see you on Sunday for a grocery haul.